Hey guys, it's Irvin here and welcome back to World of Tanks and today I am playing in the tier 7 Soviet heavy tank the KV-3. This is one of the new tanks that I do have. Well, one of the new tanks, probably the only new tank that I have. And, um, well, it's... Stock is very shit. Currently, I'm playing here in this replay with stock engine. The gun is the first 122mm that has insanely bad rate of fire. It's, it fires every 15 seconds. And that's because they only have an 81% crew in it. So that's very bad. I didn't have any Russian crews before. I did have a T-150 a long time ago. I sold that. Uh, probably more than a year ago. Didn't keep the crew. And now I'm stuck with the stock crew and the KV-3. Stock engine. Not the best 122mm. The gun is very inaccurate. But at least it has a lot of armor. And that being in a tier 7 match. And you're in a platoon. And you're almost the only tier 7. Apart from the T-34-100 Constructa. You are very, very deadly. And the enemy team also have up here tanks but they're not heavies there's two mediums and then 25 and an SU-152 but we were very very certain that they're gonna go to the medium line but no all of them go on this side with the exception of the SU-152 and there goes the Skoda he fires he actually pens one it doesn't pen me uh, very very interesting Anyways, okay. The armor on the KV-3 is 120mm at the front, 90 at the side and 90 at the rear, but... It's it's more armored... Oh, actually, no, the SU-152 is here. <laughs> <coughs> uh, the However, the armor is not really angled, so it's not that hard to penetrate it. But when you're top tier against those kind of machines, you are... Very, very bouncy, and that was a very good roll on the Skoda T25 there. With the gun that has such a bad weight of fire. And look at how many of them are here. UDS Hunter, one of my two mains that's still alive in the KV-122, is a bit angry with me for staying here at the back and not going forward there. Now the reason why I didn't go forward there is because that's, there's an E25 on that side, and I do not want to get side shot at buy an E25, I want to keep the range between me and those medium tanks and try to keep dealing damage to them so, so far, 900 damage, 600 damage blocked only one penetrated from the enemy Skoda, but that was a long time ago right what do we do now? the SU-152 maybe? he's showing me his uh... yep, there we go good shot, good kill there's a T-43 well, he gets killed before he manages to put a shot into me, so that's good. Skoda T25 <laughs> does not want to take his chance against my gun, so... Luckily for him, I don't have a good rate of fire. Not even good aiming time. The accuracy is insanely bad, so... You'd be amazed how many times this thing misses when it fully aims. A lot of times. And it is very slow. And now that I have a stock engine, only six... Only 600 horses on a 70 ton tank. It's not very mobile. <laughs> and because it's very long, it doesn't traverse fast even, so that's not good. Skoda is still a bit not good. Alright, I'll decide now to push forward. Leo! Boom! Good roll there, 466. I bet, I think that RNG was on my side this game, but oh! Well, I got shot shot by a freaking Hellcat who gets a kill on UDS Hunter as well, which is not good. There's the Leo, and there goes the Leo. Skoda T25 sports the 48, that's a very good name. <laughs> So, what 2000 damage, 3 kills, not, I'm not really gonna get much more than that, if I'm honest, but let's just 
crawl on forward because moving forward is not really what this thing does, it's more like crawling forward. However, there is something that this tank has that other Russian tanks sort of don't have, and it's gun depression. Now, the gun depression isn't fantastic, it's not 10 degrees, but it's it's 7 degrees. And the 7 degrees, it's actually quite reasonable. It's actually quite good. Not like that. And this is a shot that kind of cripples me a lot. E25 EU scrub. He sets me on fire and I lose about a thousand of my hit points. <laughs> this is not good. Hellcat. Now, this is a good demonstration of what I think when you fully aim it doesn't miss. Look at that. <laughs> that one missed, yeah. Fully aim and it's just wow. That's game 3 for you. Although I did hit a few shots when I didn't aim, so. This tank is equipped with a skill called Galen Guide My Shot, so. Look at that! Now I didn't really fully aim and it hit, so. Hellcat appears to be using the 75mm cannon, because he doesn't really do 240 damage to me and one shot me, he does 100 and something. Actually, no, he does have the big gun. Hmm. Okay, so the 25 did pen me. Not the Hellcat. This time, however, ooh, Hellcat, you're not getting lucky twice. And that's... 5 kills, 2200 damage. Not enough for an ace, but still good enough for a first class. Now, I, I did start, I did hate this tank the first time I played. I still kind of hate it, but it's alright now. It's alright. But I really do need to get the engine. <laughs> it's not moving anywhere. Right, so that's the KB3. When I stopped here, the armor is just fantastic. 2000, almost 2000 damage blocked, which is well over the amount of my hit points. So that's very good. And 2200 damage dealt, it is a fair enough amount of damage. So that was the KB3 for you there. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I'll see you next time. Take care, and bye bye. I never did belong. Tomorrow I'll be gone, don't cry. Mama, don't cry. I'm burning down this town, so if you see me around tonight, kiss me goodbye.